with us, God. Nothing. There is no water. We've enough on the night. We'll rest here. My people are growing angry, Uncle. See that the water is shared out fairly. As you command. There is discontent among our people, too, sir. He speaks the truth, husband. Tell him to make fires and prepare the food. Do as he says, Eliezer. Listen to me. You know what God has commanded, but you don't know God. These idols are all you know. Who made the earth you're sitting on? Who made the rocks, the sky, this thing? This thing of clay? No, God did. The one God, the only true God. Shall I tell the story? Please. Close your eyes. In the beginning, there was nothing. There was darkness. And God said, let there be light. God separated the light from the darkness. And the light he called day, and the darkness he called night. And that was the first day. On the second day, God said, 
Let there be a dome in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters from the waters. And God called the dome sky. On the third day, God said, let the waters be gathered together, and let dry land appear. So, and God called the dry land earth, and the waters that had gathered together he called sea. And God saw that it was good. And God said, let the earth bring forth green things, plants yielding seed, and fruit trees of every kind. On the fourth day, God said, let there be lights in the sky to give light on earth. Let them be for signs and seasons, days and years. On the fifth day, God said, let the waters bring forth living creatures. God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the seas and the earth. On the sixth day, God said, Let us make humankind in our own image and likeness. And so it was. And God saw all that he had made. And he saw that it was indeed good. And so all the heavens and the earth were made, and all their multitudes of living things. And on the seventh day, God rested. And God formed a man from the dust of the earth. from Adam's side, and from it made a woman. And that is why a man leaves his father and mother and marries a wife, and they are joined together as one. Adam called the woman Eve. And God made a garden for them in Eden in the east. They were naked. They were not ashamed. In the middle of Eden grew the tree of knowledge, the knowledge of good and evil. And God said to Adam, you can eat the fruit of every tree in the garden save one, the tree of knowledge. Its fruit is forbidden to you. If you eat it, you will die. Now of all the creatures in the garden, The serpent was the most cunning. The serpent tempted Eve. Eat of the fruit of the tree of knowledge. You won't die. Your eyes will be open. And you'll be as God himself, knowing good and evil.
Eve ate the fruit. And she gave it to Adam to eat. And their eyes were open. And they knew they were naked and they were ashamed. And they tried to hide from God. But how could they hide from him? He found them out. He gave them clothes to wear. He heard what the serpent had done. God cursed the serpent, saying, On your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat. As for Adam and Eve, he cast them out of Eden. So it was that evil came into the world, and Cain, the son of Adam, killed his brother Abel. All of you are the descendants of that first man, Adam. I, Abraham, am descended from his son, Seth, and from Noah, who made the ark that floated on the waters of the great flood that God sent down in the ancient days. He made you! You know what God has commanded me? Go out from your country to a land I will show you. Seek out my holy law so that you may live in that land in righteousness and peace. I will bless you and make your name great so that you will be an example and a blessing to the people. I will bless those who bless you. I will curse those who curse you. In you, all the families of the earth will be blessed. I trust in the voice of God. I follow his command. Will you trust in God? I trust in God. I trust I have the same rights as you. My master and yours are equal. Lot, the equal of Abraham. I think not. The time is coming when my master will be greater than yours. Abraham is a deceiver. Be careful, Rabban. You know what they say. There is no land. There is no God. The old man is mad. <laughs> Eliezer! He insulted you. This is not the way.
God has been good to us since we came here. Our flocks and herds have increased greatly. But because there isn't pasture enough, strife has grown up between your people and mine. There must be no argument between us, Lot. You are my kin, and I love you like a son. The time has come for us to separate. I give you first choice of all the land. If you go to the left hand, I'll go to the right. If you go to the right hand, I'll go to the left. My lord. me also. There was no choice. If I had given you a son, you would not feel it as you do. Don't be afraid, Abraham. I am with you. Your reward will be great. What will you give me, Lord? I'm still childless. I have no heir. When I die, all that I have will pass to strangers. Look up. Count the stars if you can. No man can count them. In the same way, no man will be able to count the number of your descendants. Nothing that you have will pass to strangers. The heir to your house will be your own son. Son, do you believe this? Yes, I trust in you. But you know I can't bear you any children. Are you saying I should take a concubine? Many men have concubines. You know the custom. Not my custom. No, I never wanted another woman but you. Now you speak foolishness. No, I believe in the Lord. I believe he will, he will bless us with a son. How? How? Unless you take another wife. Sarah, I love only you. I will never take another wife. You must, if the Lord's promise is to be fulfilled. All I ever wanted was to give you children. I know it. I know the grief it has been for you. But Sarah... I'll never stop loving you. Oh, soft words. True words. I will never take another wife. Then I don't understand. No more do I. She's young and strong. She'd give you a healthy child. What are you talking of, woman? She's beautiful, too. Hey, girl. Don't you think she's beautiful? She's your servant girl. She's an Egyptian. You speak foolishness. What does that matter? Take Hagar, my maid, and let not the promises of God fail through me. Through her, I will continue your hereditary line. Oh. I offer you this, and you call me foolish? You must have a child. I can see it now. Go to her. Go tonight.
six pieces? For well, six pieces, tens, my friends. Yours, perhaps, not mine. Seven. Ten. Again, you dare to answer me? Yes, I do. Silence. I won't be silent. You will. You'll do as I order you. Or what? You'll beat me with your husband's child in my belly. What is this? I sacrificed my honor for your sake. And what is my reward? The girl won't do her work. Each time I give her orders, she answers me with insolence. And I've had enough. The work is too hard. I am with child. My wife is still my wife, and you are still her servant. You must obey her. Hagar! 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 Eight. I give you eight. Ten! Hagar, don't be afraid, Hagar. Go back. You will bear a son. You will call him Ishmael. He will be a hunter. His hand will be against every man. And every man's hand will be against him. Have a son. God listened. I name him Ishmael. Sarah, prepare food quickly. Who are they? Where's your wife, Sarah? There, in the tent. She will have a son. She laughed when I said she would have a son. I did not laugh. Is there any wonder so great that the Lord may not perform it?
get it? There again. There. It's your imagination. What? <laughs> oh, how can you choke about such a thing? <laughs> because I hardly dare believe it. <laughs> Given me laughter. Everyone who sees and hears of this will laugh with me. Is there any wonder so great that the Lord may not perform it? he doing? Take him away. He loves your son like a brother should. Brother. They are brothers. It is you who are full of hatred. Hatred of my son. Hatred of me. Go. We say nothing against you. We do nothing against you, yet you hate us. Get out of my sight! Come. Come, Ishmael. Get rid of that slave woman and her son. For that slave woman's son will never share inheritance with my son, Isaac. I can't bear to look at her. Or her son! I won't endure them any longer! Go! Where should I go? Hagar. The Lord's hand has been in this from the beginning. Where should I go? How should I live? You shall have all that you need. This is your son. It's all the Lord's work. You must believe. You put Isaac before Ishmael. That's what I believe. your son, Isaac, whom you love, and go to a place I will show you, and offer him there as a burnt offering. My son! Yes, your son. Why do you command this? This one is perfect, without blemish. Take it back to the flock. 
I don't understand. Are you ready, my son? Yes, Father. But if you do not take a lamb, how will you make a burnt offering? Let's be gone. <laughs> Goodbye, Mother. I can't go with you, son. That's the place. How can we make a burnt offering, Father? We have no lamb. The Lord himself will provide the lamb. You go on up ahead. I'll follow. Stay here. My son and I will worship and then return. Done. You must bind me, Father. In case my courage fails. Lay your hand on the boy, or do any harm to him. Now, I know that your faith is perfect because you would give to God what is most precious to you, your only son. Turn now, and you will see a sacrifice pleasing to God. Oh, 
Why doesn't Isaac come? He'll come. A sip of water, husband. Sweet it tastes. We've been on a long journey together. Only once did I feel anger against you. I know. Would you have killed him? Yes, I would. Our only son. Yes. Oh. I had anger. I was filled with anger against God. Oh, they did it. They have said it. I feel easier. Will I find forgiveness? How can you doubt it? You know him. In a way I never could. How can we truly know him? Yet to know him is the task he has set for us. To seek out his law, to find it. We must find it. Only then can we live as he wants us to. Only then can we an example and a blessing to the people. You have done this, husband. No. What I have done is just a beginning. The lifespan of one man is much too short. It is for our son and his son. And the generations that follow to complete the work. Isaac, my son. Open the tent, please, husband. How oh, good it is to see the day. He won't be comforted. He must take a wife. And not from among the Hittite women, from his own kin. You will go to Haran. I will guard him well. But you misunderstand me. You will go alone. Isaac will remain here. But how can I, a servant, choose a wife for my master's son? The Lord will make the choice, Aliezer. The Lord will make the choice. What if you should fall into some, some grave danger? Father, it's, it's a long way, isn't it? Yes. I wonder, will she be beautiful?
Peace be with you. I've come a long way today. I'm thirsty. I have some water. Here's water, sir. Thank you. What's your name? Rebecca, daughter of Bethuel. My camels are thirsty, too. Bring them. I'll fill the trough. My name is Laban. Your master, Abraham, is our kin. My grandfather was his brother, Nahor. Then the Lord has been a faithful guide indeed. Before I came to the well, I stopped a little way off to pray. I saw the woman fetching water. I said to the Lord, I will ask of them to drink. But they, being suspicious of strangers, will likely refuse. But if there be one who offers me, then she is the chosen one. And to make certain, let her also offer for my camels. Rebecca did all this, and she is also kin to my master. Sir, may I take Rebecca back with me to be wife to Isaac? Oh, fool that I am. Here are gifts from my master for the family of Isaac's bride. Is that Isaac? Yes. How he came to choose me. Yes, yes, he has. It was so strange. I suppose everything must seem strange to you. It is a little. Just a little. <laughs> it is very strange. But I believe it is God's will. Do you? I do. given me so much in my life, Father. Too much. But, but never, never such a joy as this. You're pleased with your bride. Pleased? Pleased? I love her with all of my heart, Father. Uh, I'm glad, my son. <laughs> Let's rest here for a moment. Uh, she's a very beautiful girl. And she has wisdom, Father. She knows so much that I'm ignorant of. Wisdom and knowledge. Knowledge such as city folk acquire are very different things, my boy. I hope she has a gentle heart. Oh, Father, she has a, the best of hearts. <coughs> Father. <coughs> Father! Eliezer! Eliezer, quick!
Peace be with you, Ishmael. Brother. We have the same father. We're brothers. There must be no enmity between us. Listen to me, my sons. This is what the Lord spoke to me. I've kept it in my heart till now. My people will go from this land to another country. They will be captive. They will suffer. But after the fourth generation, they will return, and the Lord will give them the land. Take my hands. Remember the great work the Lord gave me when he commanded me from Haran to seek the law, to be an example and a blessing. Who will you bless, Father? Isaac or me? Why should I put Isaac above you, or you above Isaac? Your paths will be separate, your ways different. My blessing is for all my people. Receive this blessing. May the Lord give you of the dew of heaven and of the richness of the earth and grain and wine in plenty. Isaac, our father's staff. Us. She spoke harsh words to us. We did nothing wrong. Enough. I've been with the flocks all day. I'm tired. She hates us. Enough, I say! They grow more insolent every day. They whisper at the well, spreading rumors about me. Tell Esau to send them away. He loves them well. Do you love them? No. No. You couldn't bear to look on them, so you became blind. I can't bear to hear them, so I grow deaf. Is that Esau? Peace be with you, Father. Mother? Is that Esau's voice? Esau. I would be alone with Esau. Very well, husband. Sit by me here, my son. My son, I am near my death. You are no nearer than the last time you told me the same, Father. You know your poor father too well, Esau. Nevertheless, I am old and I am ill. 
so that there may be no mistake, so that all the people may know that you are to be the first before your brother Jacob. When I am gone, I will give you my blessing. Go out into the field, hunt game, and make me the savory dish that I delight in. Bring it to me, and I will bless you. Kiss me, my son. Esau has always been his favorite. There is nothing to be done. There is everything to be done. Go out. Choose the best of the flock and bring it to me. Who showed Esau how to make the savory dish? His mother. I'll prepare it. You will take it to your father and receive his blessing. You will be lord over Esau. But when he hears my voice, he'll know I'm not Esau. His deafness will prevent it. But what if he should touch me? Then he'd know. Do as I tell you, Jacob. This is your brother's. His best and costliest garment. I kept it for him. Otherwise, those Hittite women would steal it. Now, give me your arm. Is it Jacob? It's Esau, father. Is that Esau's voice? I've made the dish you asked for. So quickly. It was but a few hours ago you went out to hunt. God granted me success. Come near to me, my son. It is Esau. Come near and kiss me, my son. Yes. The smell of your garment is the smell of the field. I will bless you. Receive this blessing. Let the people serve you. Be lord over your brother, and let him bow down to you. Have you not a second blessing for me, Father? You know, there can only be one blessing, and it is sacred. Once given, it cannot be taken back. There is nothing to be done. Nothing! Jacob is Lord over you. You are not to blame. <laughs> no, you are deceived. Rest. How 
I'll wait until my father's dead, and then I'll kill Jacob. Esau will never kill me while my father still lives. You don't understand the power the Hittite women have over him. What can I do? You must go away. But where? To Haran, to my brother Laban's house. It won't be for long. Esau will tire of the Hittite women. He has a good heart. The danger will pass. Go now, and God be with you, my son. And with you, mother. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Do you know a man called Laban? We know Laban, all right. Could you direct me to his house? That's his daughter, Rachel, over there. Thank you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Are you Rachel, daughter of Laban? Yes, I am. Then we are kin. I'm Jacob, son of Isaac and Rebecca. My father's sister. I must run and tell him. Will you wait, sir? Uh, what of your flock, cousin? I could watch them for you if you like. There he is, Leah. That's Jacob. He is handsome. Even more handsome than you said, Rachel. How many mules does he have? Only one, I think. How many servants? None that I saw. Strange. His father, Isaac, is spoken of as a rich man. And our father, I'm sure, designs him as a husband for one of us. Which one? Well? I'm the eldest. Jacob, do you plan to stay with us a while or travel on? My Lord Laban! Uh, no, 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 May no, no. smile on your host. <laughs> I've got this back for you. Egyptian work, as you see, the very finest. Fit to head on a bride at a wedding. Five pieces to you, my lord. What do you think, Jacob? It's very fine, and a fair price. Send it to my house. My lord is a prince. I would have bargained with him and got it for less. Then you must forgive me, uncle. I thought the man knew you too well and valued your custom too highly to try to fool you. Well, I'm not often fooled, I grant you that. Ah, there are my daughters. Leah, now she knows how to drive a bargain. But I think you prefer Rachel. I think you love her. If I did, what use would it be? I brought no bride price with me. True, alas, that is a great impediment. And yet it may be overcome. How? Uh, how could it be overcome, Uncle? You could work for me for seven years. I would give you your keep, pay you no wages. You're a clever man, Jacob. I can make some good profit from you. And that would satisfy me as to bride price. Are you willing? I am willing. You must love her very much. With all my heart, Uncle. As I said before, I'm not often fooled.
must take you to your bride. <laughs> to my bride? <laughs> my brother! Come! <laughs> <laughs> May the gods grant you many sons. Stay. You knew me in the night, don't you remember? We are man and wife. How could you do this, Father? They kept me in my mother's room. They would not let me leave. You made me a prisoner! Your own daughter! Enough, girl! No, I will speak! You will obey me! Out! No! Out, I say! the custom here for the younger daughter to be married before the elder. I should have known that. Only the bride price was mentioned. The bride was never named. I have not broken our bargain. In the strict sense, that's true. Come. Leah is an excellent girl. Quick of wit, even of temper. Beautiful, too. She will make you a fine wife. Settle down with her, give her your heart. Dismiss Rachel from your thoughts. You know very well that I cannot. Shall I send her away? No. You'll be unhappy. Not if I have hope. You want Rachel, too? Yes. And I'll make the same bargain for her. Seven years. Very well. But you must swear on the household gods that you mean me no trick. I don't believe in them. That's true, you don't. I'll swear by my own god. The one God. You may kill me if I play you false. You can marry her when Leia's wedding week is out. Yes, Uncle. Then it's agreed. Rachel! I don't understand, Jacob. My father cheated you as he cheats everyone. Why aren't you angry? What purpose would anger serve? He has what I want. The only thing I want. I still don't understand. On my journey here, I had a dream. I saw a great ladder that rose up into the heavens. The angels of God were ascending and descending in multitudes beyond number. I woke. I knew the meaning of the dream. What is it? Heaven and earth are joined together. God lives among us, unknown, unseen. But he sees us. He knows us. I wept. For shame, because I had so cruelly deceived my brother. For hatred of myself. For fear, because God knew the secrets of my heart. I made a vow to change my ways, to be a better man. And God was merciful to me. He opened my heart so that I could love him. But it was a punishment, Jacob. You had no bride price. It was a test. Your father's trick against me is another, and harder. But I won't fail. Will you give me your forgiveness before I die, my son? I loved your brother better than you. I confess it. I could not help myself. Will you forgive me? You love him better still, Mother. Yes. It is true. See how I am being punished for it. I will never see his face again. Never. Look. 
even as I die, I weep for him. There's no trick this time. You've done very well. Under your care, my flocks have increased. Beyond those of any other man in Haran. But now... Uh, it is time to pay you for your work. It's a painful thing to part with money. <laughs> very painful. Don't pay me, then. Let me take a share of the flocks. But how would we make the divisions? I trust you as you trust me, but... In these matters, there is always suspicion of false dealing on either side. It can be simply done. You take the best, all that are unspotted and of pure color. I'll take the least, those that are spotted. In this way, the beasts themselves will declare by their color to whom they belong. There can be no false dealing. Is it agreed? It is agreed. <laughs> Beasts. No, sister. Till the bargain is sworn, they are my father's. You're stealing them! Don't you see? He's cheated you again. They're taking away all the spotted beasts to their own herd so we can't breed from them. We'll have only beasts of pure color, which we must give to my father. Put together two beasts of pure color, a male and a female, and what will their offspring be? Of pure color? No. Two such beasts will often produce offspring that are spotted. I've seen this many times. And something else. The spotted ones are hardier. Their increase is greater. Their meat is sweeter. Their fleeces softer. Their hides are better. your own slow wits and idleness that have cheated you, your end, not I. I've kept to the bargain I made with your father. Deceiver! Careful. I have men at my command, more than you and your brothers. We'll see. What he says is true. He's kept to the bargain we made. He's a sharper man than I. He's a deceiver. He has robbed us as he robbed his brother. He's a thief. What can I do? Kill him and take all he has. They went in the night, Father, all of them. They took everything, the flocks, the gold, everything. But we can overtake them, Father. Yes. Yes.
Jacob. Don't bargain with him, Father. Make an end of him. What bargain do you offer me now, Jacob? I kept my promise. You know that's true. Your daughters and their children. Would you kill them for the sake of their worthless brothers? What would all your wealth be to you then, Laban? What would it be as you watched their blood run on the rocks and soak into sand? It would be nothing. We return to Haran. No! Do you dare defy me? Do you dare? Now I must go to Esau and ask his forgiveness. I'm the servant of your brother Jacob. I bring gifts from him. What does my brother want with me? To meet with you, my lord. Where is my brother? On the far side of the river, at the ford of Jabok. Tell my brother that I will meet him here tomorrow at the noontime. It's my lord commands. Noon. Yes, my lord. He has fighting men with him, many of them. Bring our people over to this side of the river. I'll go over there. It's my lord commands. I'll stay with you. No. You stay with the others. I have to be alone. I have to know what God wants of me. My heart moves me to be reconciled with my brother, but my head tells me there is great danger in it, that he may kill me. And you, and the children, and all our people, Stay here. Esau, your father Isaac is dead. Take it. It is rightly yours. How can you forgive me, Esau? with her mother when she died. I saw her grief. I saw the price she paid. It was enough. Take it. It's a wonderful coat, Father. <laughs> oh. 
Is it not beautiful? Look at the colors. Feel the thread. Feel the thread. Benjamin, what do you think of it, huh? What do you think of it? Are you not proud to see your brother wear such a fine coat? <laughs> Fits me so well. See how fine the cloth is. The colors. Look at that. Father. Huh? Why do you favor Joseph above your other sons? Do I? Perhaps there's truth in what you say, Duda. He has gifts I honor greatly. But then perhaps Benjamin is my favorite. He is my youngest. His mother is dead, yet still seems to live in him. The truth is, I love you and your brothers no less than Benjamin and Joseph, who taught great foolishness, Judah. I had another dream last night, Father. Uh, must we hear it? Tell us, Joseph. I saw the sun and the moon and 11 stars, and they were all bowing down to me. The interpretation is this. The interpretation is plain. I don't like this dream, Joseph, that your family should bow down to you. Such a thing is unseemly. <laughs> <laughs> You waste your strength for nothing, Reuben. I tell you, it's dry. You must go on to the pool of Shechem. Don't be a fool. The flocks must have water. Their flocks must have water. It's half a day to Shechem. You've no more brain than a donkey. Simeon! Let him come on. Let the fool come on. Enough, Judah! Look, our beloved brother. Peace be with you, brother. Peace be with you, Joseph. Your father sent me to see if I was well, bringing back news. As you can see, there's a drought. Drought? What drought? There's water at Shechem. There, yeah, Reuben. You are corrected. There is no drought. The well is dry. Ah, oh, yes. Look, it's moist. The well isn't dry. It's only blocked with sand from a storm. I'm amazed at your ignorance. Go down to the well, dig a little. You'll find water in abundance. You dig it for us. Stop! You must Get up. do this! Leave him alone! Ah. Judith! Ah. Oh, yeah. In with you! Ah. In Get with him! To the world! Teach him a lesson! Oh. <coughs> Move! Sleep traders. Joseph! Where is he? What have you done with him? You! You've killed him. Killed him? What profit would there be in killing him? 
the slave trader happened to pass going down into Egypt. No! But what would you tell our father? A wild beast attacked our poor brother and carried his body away to devour it. All we found was this. No. Will you betray your brothers, Reuben, in favor of that pampered boy? Is it true? Is it true? It's true, Father. Oh. <laughs>